we have an abundance of cucumbers in the garden. So I wanna share with you guys a few ways that we're using cucumbers right now that don't involve making pickles. We have this big bowl full of cucumbers. Plus we've been giving a bunch away and we had a whole five gallon bucket here the other day. So there's definitely a lot of cucumbers coming out of the garden right now. And I was just out there and I only picked as many as I could carry, but we also have dozens of cucumbers on the vines that need to be picked right now too. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the ways that we've been using up cucumbers lately to give you guys some inspiration because I know sometimes people think cucumbers, the only thing they think of is pickles, but there's a lot more options you can do with cucumbers. The other way we've been using cucumbers a lot this summer is by making smoothies. I'm gonna show you the basic smoothie recipe we've been doing a lot. Now, you don't have to have fresh cucumbers for your smoothies. There's two additional ways we like to preserve our cucumbers to utilize them for smoothies throughout the year. One way is just by simply slicing the cucumbers, laying them out on a cookie sheet to freeze, and then storing them in a vacuum sealed bag. The other way is by blending them up and putting them into ice cube trays. Then the cucumber ice cubes we put into our smoothies throughout the rest of the year as well. This is a good way to use up a lot of cucumbers as you can see. This is two whole cucumbers here. Now it obviously depends on the size of your cucumbers. And I also am making this smoothie for Ryan, myself, and the kids. I got the cucumber and then a little bit of orange juice. Then we've been using uh, this Organ vanilla protein powder. We get this one from Costco. It typically goes on sale every once in a while for like $8 off a tub. And we are almost out, so we actually need to get some more. We also like to add some honey. This honey is actually from my uncle's honeybees. We just put it in the Costco teddy bear container so it's easy to squeeze out. I like to blend up the cucumber with the protein powder and honey first before adding the frozen ingredients. But sometimes the honey will freeze on the frozen fruit and it makes it harder to blend up. I like to add a little bit of lime juice just to give us some acidity and then frozen pineapple chunks. Now we also do mango and other types of fruit in the smoothie as well, but pineapple is what we're using today. And then we'll just blend it up again. This is a great way to use up a lot of those cucumbers from the garden and get some extra vitamins and vegetables into our diets and the kids' diets as well. The kids really like it. They request smoothies all the time, so it's kid approved for sure. I'm gonna make a dip to go with our cucumbers for lunch today. I just have some dill from the garden that I'm gonna chop up. It started to flower, so I just went ahead and cut off most of the stalk. You could use dried dill in this recipe as well, but the fresh dill is really what makes it, I think. It just gives a brightness that dried dill doesn't give you. This recipe only takes a couple minutes to whip together, but it does taste a little bit better if you make it ahead of time and let it marinate in the fridge to let those flavors deepen. Now, I do like quite a bit of dill, so I go pretty heavy on this, but you can adjust it to your taste. I have some dill. To the dill, I'm gonna add equal part mayonnaise, and sour cream. Now I'm just doing equal parts dill to mayonnaise because I'm eyeballing this as we go. I'm not really measuring anything today, but if you want a measurement, it's about one cup to one cup. Then we need some black pepper. I like quite a bit of black pepper, but you could add just as much as you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and onion powder as well. and then just mix it up. I like to just slice up some cucumbers and dip the cucumbers in this dip. I also like to do other vegetables too, like peppers and carrots and things like that. 
For time's sake, I'm just cutting my cucumber into stick slices for easy dipping, but the kids really like it when I make fun shapes, not just your traditional circle or matchbox stick. I think this dip tastes pretty much exactly like sour cream and onion dip or the sour cream and onion potato chips that you buy at the store. I think it's really yummy. And it's just a fun way to eat cucumbers besides just eating them plain. Another way I like to use up cucumbers is by flavoring my water with it. I just simply take a couple slices of the cucumber, plop it straight into my water, and it infuses over the day. You can also put it into a pitcher in the fridge. I do that sometimes with some fresh mint leaves and lemon or lime slices too. But I think the cucumber in the water, once it's had a chance to infuse a little bit, uh, is really refreshing. And it elevates your water just a little bit and adds a little bit of that extra flavoring. I typically just use this big metal cup that I got at Costco all day long and I just put the cucumbers straight into my cup with some ice and water. Nothing really fancy to it. Having infused water is a great way that I've found that helps me drink a little extra water throughout the day. I also like the mint leaves in here and sometimes I'll even put fruit in my water and it just gives it a little extra flavoring. The next way we're going to use our cucumbers is by dehydrating them. But before we dehydrate the cucumbers, I currently have some other stuff in the dehydrator. In the dehydrator currently, we have some basil leaves we need to put up. We have a lot of basil growing in the garden, so I've been having some in the dehydrator. I also have some just hanging up to dry naturally as well. I'm gonna take the basil out of the dehydrator and just put it in a mesa jar to preserve it. It's all crumbling on me, so I'm gonna use this to try to catch the little pieces. All the basil leaves are in this tray now. I just dehydrated them at 95 degrees Fahrenheit until they were dried and crispy. It actually took about two days to do this. Uh, we had some very high humidity, which I'm sure contributed to that. I'm gonna use the food processor just to blitz up this basil a little bit more. The basil's all blitzed up now. I left it kind of just in a big flake form and we'll use that as our basil seasoning throughout the rest of the year. It always amazes me how much things shrink down once you dehydrate them and blitz them up. This basil was a really big basket. I'll insert a picture here of what the basket looked like when we first picked it and now it's half a jar. We use a lot of basil in our cooking, so we'll definitely be picking more and preserving more throughout the summer. Now that the basil's all out of the dehydrator, we can put those cucumbers in there. The main way we're gonna dehydrate the cucumbers is by making cucumber chips. So I'm gonna slice them into rounds with the mandolin. Using the mandolin for slicing up our cucumbers just ensures that every cucumber is the exact same thickness. I went for something a little bit on the thinner side so that they would dehydrate quicker. I'm placing the cucumbers on the dehydrator in a single layer so that none are overlapping. I'm using the Excalibur dehydrator. I really like this dehydrator. I have a link in the description box to the one that I have. Dehydrating them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 hours, but it really depends on the humidity and how thick you make them, so it may take longer. I'm also going to dehydrate at a later date some cucumbers just into small little cubes so that I can put them in soups and different things later on throughout the year. This is what the cucumbers look like after they're done dehydrating. We are gonna make some homemade tzatziki sauce. First thing, I'm just gonna get some more of this dill peeled and chopped up finely for the tzatziki sauce. I really like the flavor of tzatziki sauce. Ryan and I visited Greece a couple years ago and we really loved all the fresh tzatziki sauce we had there. And ever since then, we've been making tzatziki sauce at home quite a lot. One of our favorite ways to use it is 
with some homemade naan bread. Naan bread is like a soft, pillowy, thin flatbread, and we fold it up like a pita and make sandwiches with it. And sometimes we just use it and dip it straight in the tzatziki sauce. But our favorite way is gyros or heroes and use some fresh chicken and veggies from the garden or ground lamb, ground turkey, kebabs, any type of meat you really want. And then lots of fresh vegetables, quinoa or couscous, and then the tzatziki sauce on top. The first thing you need to make tzatziki sauce is some fresh dill. I have quite a lot of dill because we like the flavor of dill. And then some garlic. This is our garlic we grew last year. I went ahead and peeled a lot of the cloves. I'm gonna do about two cloves of garlic just minced up into this mason jar. If you don't have a mincer, you can just cut your garlic up really fine. Then we're gonna do some fresh lemon zest. I'm also gonna juice this lemon as well. It just gives you a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Now I'm not following an exact recipe. These are just the basic ingredients and you can add a little bit more garlic if you want it more garlicky, a little more lemon juice if you want it more acidic. You can really customize it to be however you want. And I just have some plain Greek yogurt. I'm gonna put some fresh cracked pepper in here as well. Then to this, we're gonna add some grated cucumbers. I just took my food processor and put the grater attachment on it and ran the cucumbers through here. I went ahead and just grated up a bunch of cucumbers, as many as the food processor would hold because I wanted to use them for some other recipes as well, but you won't need quite this many for the tzatziki sauce. And I've let them sit for a few minutes so that most of the liquid has had a chance to kind of seep to the bottom. You can also go in and squeeze the cucumbers with like a paper towel or cheesecloth to get the extra liquid out as well. I don't really mind a little bit of extra liquid, but it will make your sauce a little bit runnier. I'll show you how the liquid has kind of drained off to one side. See, there's kind of a puddle of liquid there from the cucumbers as it's had a chance to kind of seep over. So we're just gonna use the shredded portion. I like to do about equal parts cucumber to Greek yogurt. I like to utilize a lot of the cucumber, but I think traditionally you'd have more Greek yogurt than cucumber. I like to mix the cucumber tzatziki sauce just straight into a mason jar, and that's what we'll serve it out of as well, because it's easy to reseal and put in the fridge for later. Like I mentioned before, I'm doing about equal parts cucumber to the Greek yogurt mixture. This is our finished tzatziki sauce. I think it tastes better if you let it marinate in the fridge for a little bit. So we'll enjoy this over the next couple of days. I hope this video gave you guys a couple unique ideas on ways to preserve your cucumbers and enjoy them this season. It's fun to mix things up and try new recipes as well. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite cucumber recipe is. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks y'all, have a good day.